Hello YouTube, what's going on guys? Uh, I hope uh, you are enjoying your time on YouTube and I welcome you to the second video on uh, Linux commands. Uh, this is again going to be a beginner one. So as usual you press Alt F2. When I say Alt F2 you press Alt and then hit F2. Okay, or you press F2 and then hit Alt. I don't know. Yeah, both will work. So you run genome terminal. Uh, okay. So this is the default terminal. There are other terminals just to tell you there is Xterm which you can use. Uh, it's ugly. It's the old one, classic one. Then I have got LX terminal also which is my Lubuntu desktop. So let's go with the GNOME terminal because Ubuntu is most common. Uh, that's why I am uh, doing the Ubuntu one. So we saw the ls command in my last video. This time I'm going to show you cd command. This is very basic command. All right, it changes directory. There is no manual page even. Why? Because it is uh, an inbuilt command actually. So what do you mean by inbuilt command? By inbuilt I mean that it is built into shell. Let's try to get help. cd minus h. Okay, so the small option does not work, so we try the long option, cd minus minus help. Again, wrong. Uh, so you see there are certain options. Uh, I don't know, uh, honestly want any of these options, because I never needed any of these. So because it's such a simple command, cd, all right. So before we go into cd, I'll show you how Linux uh, directories are organized so you see my present working directory is slash which is called root of the file system now there can be many partitions mounted not necessarily one there can be many partition on slash you think like c drive d drive is there and um, ef those drives are there in uh, windows so all those are partitions for example if you see here there is dev sda1 which is my first partition of hard drive and dev sda2 there are two partitions so this is mounted in slash and dev sda2 is mounted on slash home now if you go to uh, if you type cd space slash you give the directory name then uh, it takes you to the root of the file system and you can see what directories are there i'll just uh, give you a whirlwind tour of uh, what all these directories are. So bin considers, uh, consists of most basic uh, commands which are inbuilt jobs or which are really really important for the file. So uh, this, is, this is what all bin contains. Boot contains the uh, uh, kernel and the bootloader for example uh, boot so you see these are the configurations of uh, the kernel this is uh, application binary interface this is your configuration with which uh, it is compiled you have your bootloader you have your ram disk don't worry about uh, all this if you don't understand uh, eventually it will uh, become clear you have got memtest binary which is used to test uh, memory there are other files. Uh, the important one is this guy, which is the compressed uh, Linux kernel image. Okay. For example, uh, let's try this. Yep. Oh, sorry. So you have to say slash boot. Okay. Regular file, no read permission, whatever. Okay. So this grub actually contains uh, uh, the bootloader we will go into details of all this in advanced series so uh, for now i'll just give you a tour cd-rom contains the mounted cd-rom drive dev is the devices uh, directory this is a very important directory i mean all are important of course because uh, almost everything is system uh, uh, some are more important than the other. Now this is uh, created at runtime. Okay, this is not something which is stored on hard drive. 
for example bin and boot reside on your hard drive but contents of dev do not reside on hard drive these are devices not normal files okay now uh, uh, we have got etc etc contains a lot of useful stuff mostly configuration and scripts which uh, take action uh, at the time of booting very important that again you will visit etc for uh, many times in your uh, linux uh, uh, life and then we have got home home is where the user directories are uh, there we have seen uh, that it contains my home directory which is ship anyway so we have got lib now this contains uh, libraries okay 32-bit uh, libraries to be specific then we have got user lib 64 which contains 64-bit libraries now don't worry you don't see if you don't see anything there um, those are at other places also okay and actually that is symbolic link uh, we have got lost plus found which covers the recovered file we have got media so if you insert a pen drive or an external drive then it gets mounted at media in the old times it used to get mounted at mnt which is empty opt is used by external programs it, it means optional i have some for example skype is there we have couchbase and uh, openstack team viewer tour browser all those things are there we have got proc once again like uh, dev proc is a, a file system which is created at runtime and it contains uh, information about processes something which i'll tell you uh, perhaps later it's it's an advanced uh, uh, thing so uh, i'll just skip for now now we have got root which is the home of the root now what is root root is the super user of linux uh, that means uh, it can do anything it wants root can delete anything root can kill any process root is the god of any unix based operating system or a posix compliant operating system now uh, we can't go inside root uh, if you say cd root nope permission denied only root can go in there all right but root can go inside our directory that is a normal user directory we have got run which contains the runtime information of certain files for example pids and sockets are contained here okay we have got sbin sbin is uh, supposed to contain binaries which are executable by uh, uh, root only and no other person snap i don't know i have never seen a snap folder so i can't tell you about it probably it is created by an application SRV is the server directory which uh, uh, can contain uh, files from uh, web uh, servers most of the time. We have got sys which is system directory. Once again, it is generated at runtime. Okay. Uh, TMP is a temporary directory for temporary storing files. Uh, use USR is user directory which is very important we'll see why usr is very important okay this is really 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 important directory and then we have got slash var which contains a lot of stuff for example uh, your uh, uh, many kinds of caches are there dbs actually go in db or lib uh, a lot of software uh, like to install them their data in slash var you have got log here which is the main log directory ls slash var log so this is uh, the logs of the entire system so uh, the critical uh, directories which you will be going again and again uh, going into again and again i'll show you the critical directories so var log is very important okay because the logs go in there um user is very important particularly a directory called user share doc it contains the documentation of uh, all the packages which you have installed documentation for 
Um, uh, then uh, the important one would be obviously your home directory. Dev is important. ETC is very important. You'll be going again and again. So uh, this tutorial is about CD. I have shown LS and now I'm showing you CD. In particular, the choice is because the first objective is to move around uh, the file system. So CD, if you follow it with a directory name or not really a directory, path to a directory. For example, we say ls, all right? So now let's say we want to go to our home directory, okay? So there are two kinds of paths. One is a relative path and another is an absolute path. How do you figure out which one is absolute and which one is relative? So absolute path, always starts with a slash here this path is home slash sieve slash so this is not an absolute path it is a relative path although relative to slash so if you see cd slash home slash sieve it takes it takes us to our home directory but if we say cd dot dot now our directory is slash home in my last part i have said that dot dot is the parent directory so if i say cd dot dot it takes us to parent directory now if i say cd dot dot again it takes us to parent directory now if you do ls minus l on this one uh, or better even ls minus al you see dot dot here but in this particular case when you are already on slash at the root there is no parent directory here, if you do cd dot dot, you will remain in this directory. You just can't go to the parent directory. If you do cd dot, then you stay in the current directory. Now we go to slash home shift. Okay. Now, uh, sorry, I have a habit of typing ls. Now pwd present working directory slash home slash shift. Now if we go to the parent directory, we land in slash home. Now say for some reason we are somewhere and we went to, let's say somewhere, okay? Now, uh, if right now I remember that I came from slash home, but let's say the path is quite big and you went to another path, which is quite big from one directory to another directory and the paths are quite big and you don't want to really type that, then you can say CD minus what it does is it takes you to the previous working directory and at any point of time from anywhere if you want to go to your home then you just say cd or you can say cd tilde for example let's go to user share uh, doc okay and uh, we say cd tilde we land it, land in our home directory tilde is also a synonym for home directory sort of all right so that's that now i'll tell you now if i say cd dot dot that means i'm going to parent directory but if i type shiv again we'll actually land up at the same place we went to parent and came back to shiv again all right so that is easy now the question is uh, how does uh, cd minus knows where were we so you see why it happened okay why cd minus uh, stayed in the same directory because we did uh, another cd here you see from our home directory we changed directory to home directory again so essentially although the directory does not change but it is recorded as a directory change and therefore if you do cd minus you stay in the current directory so how does it know that uh, uh, we were in which directory so the secret lies in a in an environment variable known as old working directory now if you want to see an environment variable the syntax is echo space dollar that uh, environment variable name i'll show you in a second so you see it's empty okay now we say we go to cd home and we echo this it is still empty that is strange okay old working directory should be there now if we 
say go to slash user share duck and uh, we say n and then we pipe grep doc so it says that present working directory is doc now we go to cd minus okay so sorry it is not old old working directory it is old present working directory my mistake okay the variable which i said is owd is actually old present working directory all right so uh, that is old present working directory so if you do a cd minus you will land up whatever is stored in old pwd now let's see our old pwd is slash home now let's uh, sh i'll show you a nice trick here now i'm setting old present working directory to slash home slash shiv okay and then i do cd minus you see we landed in home shiv not in home so that means if you change this environment variable then you will land at that now present working directory is uh, obviously uh, also stored in another uh, environment variable called pwd now our present working directory is slash home now what will happen if we change this environment variable export pwd is equal to slash bummer we landed up in uh, sorry uh, although it does not change the directory you see if you export pwd to slash it does not change your directory but you see the difference this tilde becomes slash why because this is uh, uh stored i mean i'll show you this in a second you see this uh prompt okay this is stored in a variable called ps1 so this reads the value of a present working directory from this okay okay now sorry i was wrong pwd is not uh, sorry again uh, pwd is not the correct environment variable i hang on let me figure out uh, this um pwd yep now pwd is correct environment variable there is no cwd now uh, let's so i have shown you this environment it is uh, very important uh, it contains the environment variable so it, the important one is it contains my uh, username it contains the old working directory it gives you shell and uh, this is very important if you want to play around with colors uh, uh, and print working directory is this which is there and my home is there and uh, login name is there others are i believe not that important display is important display variable go path is for golang so yeah so we were on cd command sorry i uh, tend to satisfy the query so cd uh, brings us to home directory cd minus takes us to previous directory uh, cd followed by a path is a previous directory so uh, i was showing you about something about uh, the relative path and uh, uh, absolute path so if we say cd home this is absolute not absolute this is relative path if we say cd dot dot this is also relative so as i said absolute paths always uh, start with slash for example slash user share doc so we have slash inside user directory and then slash is the separator inside user there is share and inside that doc now slash is a separator directory separator so slash is not allowed in a file name in a file you just can't have slash for example if i want to touch if i want to create a file uh, we had created this directory if i want to touch a file then the usual uh, i mean by touch i mean if i want to create a file then the usual command is uh, touch one so it creates the file one now uh, if you want to create a file say one slash oops it can't it just can't do that 
okay or rather two slash no it won't allow you that if you want to quote it no it won't even allow that if you want to escape it no nope, it just won't allow you to have slash in the file name you just can't have slash in the file name on linux so make sure that uh, you don't try to play with file names with a slash okay there are more funny characters which you'll encounter so that's all about cd command guys this this is very simple uh, command and i uh, didn't intend to create such a long video for cd command but uh, as you see i have shown you quite more than cd command so i'll end this video and if you like then please uh, hit like and subscribe to the channel as more videos uh, are coming so thanks for watching the video guys thanks for your patience i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks see you in the next video bye